What's up guys? Good morning. Uh, this video is from my boy Jay. Uh, how to wrap Voodoo Floss bands for occlusion training. So this is uh, when you basically put a tourniquet on either your arm or your leg and you exercise and you get an insane pump and you can use really light weight and this is good because it's safe for one you don't have to use heavy weight you can use about 20 percent of what you would normally have to train with so if you normally lift 100 pounds and make x amount of gains you can lift 20 pounds and gain around the same amount of gains in size. Not exactly the same, but close. So it's uh, very beneficial for people who can't go heavy. It's very beneficial for people who might be injured or if you are just fatigued from training or from lack of sleep or whatever it might be, you're tired, but you still want to get some training in. Uh, occlusion is cool because it allows you to train safely and still get some pretty good gains. Um, this was originally discovered for uh, elderly geriatric patients, um, old people in like nursing homes that had muscle wasting disease, a sarcopenia. That's basically when they just start to shrivel down, lose muscle and get weak. Then they end up falling and breaking a hip and it's just downhill from there. So uh, losing muscle is a bad thing, especially for old people. Um, so what these researchers did was they the question was, how can we get these old people to uh, gain or at least keep the muscle that they have without putting them under, uh, you know, heavy loads? Because obviously old people can't train hard. And the idea came up to uh, occlude or restrict blood flow um, to the limbs, to the legs. Um, so basically wrapping the top of the leg, you know, in the crook, kind of in your crotch area, wrapping it and trapping blood in the leg. <clears throat> uh, and then they just had them walk. They had these old people walk around the nursing homes and, and they weren't even really doing any squats or training or running. They were just walking with these bands on and <clears throat> they ended up uh, gaining significant amounts of muscle or at least keeping the muscle that they had um, fast forward a couple years bodybuilders get a hold of this research and now people like me are doing this to uh, to get jacked so uh, <clears throat> this video is basically how to wrap uh, it can be tricky it can be very painful you don't want to go too tight and you don't want to go too loose so um, well, I'll just say a couple of things here. If you're too tight, your hand will, if you're wrapping your arm and you go too tight, <clears throat> your hand will start to turn pale. Uh, it might tingle as if it's numb a little bit. Uh, it might even turn like a kind of a, like a greenish, you know, like, you know, how you can see the green in your veins sometimes. Um, that's not good. Those things are not good if you that's if you're too tight if you're too loose if you're not tight enough then you won't experience a swelling and engorging of your limb with blood <clears throat> um it's just not working so you have to go tight enough and a good sign is when your hand starts to turn like a, a pinkish or a reddish, you know, because you're trapping blood in there and your veins start to bulge and you start to get a pretty intense pump. So your arms will swell. Those are all good signs. 
uh, you're going to have to kind of play with these things because there's not, you know, they sell blood flow restriction bands online. I've tried several of them and they, every one that I've tried sucks. They're uncomfortable. You can't get them tight enough. They, they're, they just suck. These are the best. These voodoo floss bands are the best things that I've found. <clears throat> okay. So how do we do it? Let's say we're going to wrap the arm. So you want to get fairly high up on the limb, whether it be the leg or the arm. So in this case, I'm doing my arm. You want to get kind of in the armpit, you know, straight over and kind of back towards, you know, where the, the rear armpit area starts um, because we're trying to occlude the bicep. You know, we want to get the, we want to get the bicep in there. We want to get the trap, um, the tricep in there. So if you're wrapping too far down, you're kind of defeating the purpose of engorging this, uh, the arm. So what I do to normally wrap the arm is I'll just pinch it with my armpit like that. Kind of just holding it in there like that for myself. Wrap it around. It's, it's kind of tricky. Like that. Okay. So now I've got that first wrap on there. Use my fingers. And the first wrap doesn't really have to be super tight. You just want to make sure that you get it on there so that it... Okay, so now that's not tight really at all. Um, Jesse Burdick calls that first wrap the purchase. So you've now purchased that end. Okay, so now if this is zero tension and that is like a hundred, I'm probably gonna go about 30. I'm gonna start off there and just wrap high up on the arm. And I want to keep, what's important is I want to keep a consistent tension throughout the entire wrap. And maybe I'll go a little bit high on one and just a little bit low. You can see I went a little bit low on one. And then I'm just gonna tuck it in under like this, okay? Then I'll do my, you can already see, you can already see I'm starting to uh, get a, a pump. Um, you can see the skin down here is darker than the skin up here. This is starting to engorge with blood and I'm not even, I'm not even lifting yet. So you, you get the idea. Okay, see, all of this is now tight. These veins are tight. Uh, if I went too tight with the band, this wouldn't be happening. I would have cut the circulation of blood off to the arm if I go too tight. We don't want to do that. We want the blood to flow into the arm. We're just trying to slow it down from coming back out. So uh, that's, how, that's how you do it. And it's okay to, <clears throat> in the middle of your uh, exercise, if you're like, shit, this is way too painful. This is way too tight. My hand, I mean, you can see my hand. It's kind of probably hard to see with the lighting in here but my hand is uh, red and all these veins and the skin is like, it's tight to the touch. So this is like engorged. It's like the gnarliest pump you've ever had and it's awesome. Um, but it does, it, it does hurt. Um, so I would do curls or tricep extensions. Um, basically I would isolate the arm when I was doing this. Uh, so what I was gonna say, oh, uh, if you end up going too tight, the reason why I try and keep a consistent wrap every time 
is because, let's say I go too tight, I want to loosen it up. I'll just let one out. And you can, I can instantly see that that has released some of that trapped blood. It's still, it's still, you know, working, but it was better the first time. Um, so you, if you need to, if you're not getting that pump that you are looking for, wrap it again, go tighter. So you can adjust these, you know, mid session. You don't have to, you know, give up and take the whole thing off. I'm not going to lie. It's not the easiest, not the easiest thing to do. But the gains, <clears throat> the benefit of this type of training is it's just like low hanging fruit. This is like everybody that's trying to gain size, I think, in my opinion, should do this. I coach all of my clients to do these <clears throat> at the end of their training. So this doesn't replace heavy lifting. This doesn't replace good solid powerlifting technique or deadlifts or squats anything like that what it does is it's kind of like the icing on top of all that heavy training so you get this heavy training in and then right before you go home bust out a set of occlusion calves or occlusion biceps or triceps or whatever um, and it just boosts uh, muscle size uh, significantly uh, pretty quickly too um, I think that's it. I will link to an article I wrote about this stuff several years ago. If you have any questions, comment. I reply to all the comments. Thanks, guys.